On December 21st, 2019, the Pope said that Christendom no longer exists. He then declared new ways of evangelizing are necessary. In other words, a Vatican-approved, new and improved Jesus will now be proclaimed worldwide so as to hide the truth about what prophecy says is coming. To confirm this, we see just two days after the Pope lied about Christianity's demise, the Vatican announced that Pope Francis unveiled a globalist new world religion at the summit with the United Nations leader. Even a blind man could have seen that coming. And yes, this is why the Pope told those students to stop preaching Jesus as Lord last week. And thanks to modern technology, and especially the social speed of the Internet, it's not going to take long to ready the masses already confused by the many false prophets that preach the fake Jesus of Rome in all the Protestant churches. As prophesied, they will do this to build the ranks of those who deny the true Christ of the Bible so as to persecute and kill those that uplift Jesus Christ as Lord. The means by which Rome mixes truth with error can be easily brought forth into literally millions of sermons in the coming days wherein most people are going to agree with everything and anything the Pope and his army of 501c3 government-approved pastors teach them. And since the Pope's new world religion says nothing about the caste of society that is needed to enforce the mark, the people in the pews won't see any danger as it all comes upon them. In fact, if you look closely, you will see that digital cash has already been here for decades. But have you ever heard any pastor or preacher speak on this? I mean, seriously, all of us have been using credit or debit cards for decades now. That's digital. If you have been following the Pope's stealthy movements towards a cashless society by visiting this page of my website, you know what I'm telling you is not just a global movement that has been played out before every nation on earth. You know it is an absolute fulfillment of prophecy. That all being said, notice what the Pope just announced regarding the digital currency in August of 2019. The headline reads, Financial Geography, Cryptocurrencies Reached the Vatican. And no, this is not old news. The only reason I am mentioning this now is because we had to wait to see how the United Nations and the United States responded to the Pope's command. And if you stay with me on this, you're going to see what they said about all this just two days ago. Now, keep in mind, the only way to enforce the mark of the beast by preventing the buying and selling of all people on earth is to do away with cash altogether because if the people have legal tender on hand, they're still going to be able to purchase whatever they want, even though the powers that be turned off their digital currency. And as we all know, all nations, including the USA, have been moving businesses to replace the use of cash with credit and debit cards across the board. In fact, most people don't even get a paycheck anymore. Their paycheck is digitally transferred into their bank accounts each week now. The soon-to-come digital coin will be easily embraced by all since we have already been used to using digital credit and debit cards all along. And so, to end this cliffhanger of sorts, just two months after the Vatican announced their plans to use digital currency in August, we see the U.S. government announced that they too will be adopting digital cash very soon. That headline read, U.S. lawmakers ask Federal Reserve about national digital currency. Then, as expected by students of prophecy, just two short months after the USA declared their interest in digital currency, we see the United Nations Roman Catholic Secretary General stated that they too are going to be embracing digital currency globally. That just happened two days ago on December 28th. That headline read, Secretary General says United Nations must embrace blockchain. And just so you know, blockchain is the technology behind the ever-popular Bitcoin. That's what makes it work. And shortly after the Pope embraced the blockchain tech, China made it illegal to call blockchain a scam. I kid you not. Now do you see why I made that video back in 2013 about the coin card and how they will use digital cash to enforce the mark by turning off everyone's digital bank accounts? In fact, thanks to Obama's pen in 2010... U.S. banks are already able to seize your checking accounts with ease. All they need to do is hit a key on a keyboard. Worse yet, they can use any excuse they want to keep and then use your cash now. And this includes seizing all your cash to keep the bank from collapsing financially. 
And so I ask, how hard would it be to amend the law with a few words as they have done so many times before with other laws? I mean, how hard would it be for them to rewrite the law to make it legal to seize all your assets until you bow to the Pope's mark? I mean, the law is already on the books now, right? They just got to change a couple of words. Once your account is turned off, they can hold your cash until you agree with the Pope's Sunday laws. In other words, your bank cards will not be turned back on until you comply. I mean, it's just going to be that simple for them. But sadly, most people will agree with Sunday laws, since they've been keeping Sunday holy their entire lives anyway, and the many false prophets on the pulpits have been telling them it has nothing to do with the mark of the beast all along. They actually got their church to believe that the mark of the beast is a tattoo or a barcode or even the number 666, even though the Bible clearly says otherwise. But as we know, most people don't read Bibles, so they don't know this. They're going to believe they're apostate pastors, just as prophecy predicted they would. These people are going to place their livelihood, their bank accounts, their car payments, their mortgages, and even their cell phone payments far above the long prophesied will of the God of the Bible, who has warned them all about the mark of the beast coming to fulfillment in their very own Bibles. It's all right there in the scripture. And next to no one even knows about it. Everyone on this planet, and as Revelation thirteen sixteen says, this means the small, the great, the rich, the poor, or even the free and the bond, they're all going to be forced to bow to the Pope's demand if they want to buy or sell anything. Every living person all over the world will soon be forced to choose between receiving the seal of the living God or the mark of the dying beast in Rome. And if you want to know what the difference is between the two, see this study. I have on this page on my website as well as the collection of videos it contains when you get time. But the basic reality is this. With the onset of digital cash being sanctioned by the Pope, the USA, the United Nations, and now it is declared illegal in China to call it a scam, we now see that very soon the long prophesied mark of the beast will be enforced in our lifetime. All of us now need to prepare for not only the soon-to-be-enforced mark of the Vatican beast, we also need to prepare for the coming of the Lord. Thank you for watching. God bless.